Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are doing really well. So in today's video, I'll be showing you this get ready with me look that I wore last weekend to a baby shower and I really really love how the whole look had turned out from bindi to makeup to the bangles and earrings. Everything came together perfectly with this particular blue and pink outfit. So if you guys would like to see how I got ready for an Indian event then please keep watching. So first things first I thoroughly cleansed my face before putting any kind of skincare or makeup. For that I used QMS Pollution Detox Cleansing Gel and then I took Honest Beauty Prime Plus Perfect Mask and I got generous amount on back of my hand and then applied that mask evenly all over my face with a face pack brush. This is just a foundation brush but I use this for masking purposes. And then I applied some lip serum as well to soften up my lips while the mask is doing its magic on my skin. And then I washed it off after 15 minutes and it's time for makeup. So I clipped all my hair back before grabbing Mario Badascu Lavender Facial Spray and I'm spraying this all over my face to freshen up my skin and wake my skin because I'm getting ready in the morning. So I need to look fresh and not dull and lazy. And then taking JLo Beauty Glow Serum and I'm dropping this onto the main areas of my face and then I just spread that evenly and massage that into my skin until it's fully absorbed. And this is my first time using this serum and my skin was visibly soft and literally glowing after the application. And then for moisturizer, I grabbed Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I applied that all over my face. And this cream is truly magical and moisturizes my skin so beautifully and it has hyaluronic acid in it so it gives you a nice glow and hydrates your skin underneath the makeup and then for lips i'm using my laneige lip glowy balm and i'm applying this all over my lips to hydrate soften up and smooth out the lines on my lips and this is really helpful when you are going to apply super matte lip formulas at the end to make them last longer and also to sit comfortably and then taking this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer with sunscreen and I'm applying a generous amount all over my face to protect my skin from the sun because it's super super hot outside in the Texas today and muggy so I knew I had to apply a good sun protection that doesn't have any white cast and here I'm not forgetting to apply sunscreen under my eyes onto my eyelids and all around my eyes because this is the sensitive area and can easily get damaged and then for primer i'm using neutrogena glow primer plus serum and i'm dropping this onto the center of my face and then once i spread that evenly i then went ahead and just pat that into my skin gently to basically fill up the pores and plump up my skin and i'm also applying this under my eyes to make my concealer sit creaselessly and also last super super long throughout the event without separating and then taking airbrush flawless setting spray and i gave my face a very good spritz to lock in all the moisture and make my skin literally glow and this is one final priming step that i will never ever forget because it helps my overall makeup to sit on top of the skin so beautifully and then for my base i'm first taking born this way multi-use sculpting concealer from too faced in the shade golden beige and i'm dotting this all over my face as you can see here and then i took sephora beskin ever concealer in the shade 18.5 y and i applied dots all over my skin as well and this time i applied some onto the under eyes and also down the bridge of my nose because those are the only areas i need to highlight and I used only these two concealers as a base and that's it because these concealers are extremely full coverage and I don't need any extra foundation for this particular look. So yeah, I then took a foundation application brush and the shape of this brush literally helps you achieve a neater and cleaner layer. So I applied and spread that concealer mixture all over my skin with this brush and then went ahead and blend in the excess and the brush bristle marks with a beauty sponge
Now grabbing this NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint in the shade Nutude and I'm applying this onto my cheeks towards the cheekbones and also applied some onto my nose and then just blended that seamlessly with a beauty sponge and I don't need too much color for my cheeks because my outfit and the remaining things I'm wearing are extremely colorful. And then taking Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and first I'm setting my under eyes with a beauty sponge and then I took duo fiber brush from half caked and just powdered my entire face leaving the areas wherever we have applied the cream blush because we are going to do that later and then I'm taking this gorgeous Dior backstage blush in the shade pink and I'm applying this onto the apples of my cheeks and also onto my nose to set the cream blush and also to add a super subtle pinkiness to the face now moving on to the eyes i'm grabbing sephora shimmer eye crayon in the shade beige and i'm running that all over my eyelids and spreading that out with my finger for a beautiful nude shimmer base for the eyes and this one stays super super long on the eyes and holds the whatever color we put on on the eyelids for a really longer time and makes it pop vibrantly and then taking this glitter pigment and this is the makeup forever starlit diamond powder in the shade gold and i'm just applying that little by little all over my eyelids and i don't need too much of a bam on the lids but a subtle shimmer to match my outfit and then taking these two shades from huda beauty empowered eyeshadow palette and these are in the shades power and keep going and i'm getting that onto my crease to act as a transition color and then taking this color right here called confident which is a beautiful cool dark brown color and i'm applying that onto the socket of the eye and i'm giving a little 3d effect like a gradient to my eyes rather than leaving it flat and i grabbed a clean fluffy eye blending brush and i'm making sure everything is blended into each other and there are no start or stop lines either and then taking this gorgeous blue gel eyeliner from inglot and i'm applying that along my upper lash lines and i created a messy wing starting from the inner corner to the outer and this is because i have plenty of blue in my outfit and i thought i had to add some kind of blue eyeliner to the makeup and then taking a blue eyeshadow from mac in the shade in the shadows and i'm setting that blue gel eyeliner we have just put on and also to smoke that out a little bit because i don't need a neater wing for this look i just want smokiness that creates a softer look and then taking black gel eyeliner also from inglot and i'm picking this onto an angled brush and i'm lining that along my upper lash lines on top of blue eyeliner because it was looking kind of harsh for me with all that blob of blue so black adds up a balance to the eyes and with that same black gel eyeliner i'm tight lining my low water lines as you can see here before grabbing urban decay eye pencil in the shade bourbon and this is a gorgeous golden shimmery brown color and i'm running that along my lower lash lines and this is the fastest way to create a smoky eye and then taking nars single eyeshadow and i believe it's in the shade mekong but i'm not sure but anyway i leave all the details in the info box down below so yeah i'm using this eyeshadow to set and diffuse the lower lash lines out and make it look nice and smoky and then taking infallible black gel eye pencil from l'oreal and i'm tight lining my upper water lines with that and then grabbing champagne pop from becca cosmetics and i'm applying that on tops of my face like onto my eyebrow bone as a subtle yet gorgeous brow bone highlight onto the tops of my cheeks as you can see here down the bridge of my nose my chin my cupid's bow and also above my eyebrows and also in the center of my forehead to attract light beautifully and reflect For my lashes today, I'm using Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit and this is the only mascara I trust whenever I want my lashes to look nice because this one makes my lashes look so good and people actually ask me if I'm wearing falsies. It's just insane and I'm giving tons and tons of coating to both my upper and lower lashes 
And then for my brows, I used Glossier Volumizing Eyebrow Gel Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm combing it through my brow hair to color them up and also to make them stay in place all day long without moving around. I was actually rushing and I didn't find my spoolie brush. So I just carefully gave a little strokes in between the brow hair without applying too much with a heavy hand. And then for my bronzer, I'm taking Take Home the Bronze Bronzing Powder in the shade Thomas from the Balm Cosmetics. And I'm getting that onto the usual parts of my face where I would generally like to contour and add up some shape and structure. And I'm applying this very light-handedly in the perimeters of my face to look like I have just made my face sun-kissed. And also followed the natural shadows on my face. And once I'm done, I just went with a beauty sponge to blend out the harsh edges. And this makes my face look more sculpted rather than being all in one color. Now moving on to the lips, I'm taking NYX Lip Liner in the shade Mahogany and I'm carefully lining and defining the outline of the lips because if I mess up here, I look weird. So I'm just making sure the outline is nice and crisp before going ahead and filling this entire lips with the lip liner. And then for the lipstick, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Toffee. And I'm applying that all over my lips, but the color payoff is super vibrant. So I just blotted some color off with a washcloth to make the color look brown, but soft and nude because the muted colors look so good with vibrant outfits. But to add a bit of a pinkiness, I'm taking MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color in the shade Billion Dollar Smile. And I'm applying this just in the center and I'm spreading that out with my finger because I don't want too much opaqueness in here. So yeah, and then for perfume, I sprayed Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And then for jewelry, I wore this Leila earrings from Alacotor by Ruma. And also I popped on this plain blue bindi to match my outfit. And speaking of the outfit, this is the dress I wore. I leave the details in the info box. Don't forget to check that out. This is a gorgeous blue and pink salwar suit set that actually enhances the skin tone of mine so beautifully and this you guys is the makeup look complete thank you so so much everyone for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this indian get ready with me look please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video and the button is just right here on the screen and also like this video if you do and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one bye